What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 72 of Onshape. We're gonna build the top of our barrel pin assembly here. Uh, from here, we're going to start to model from here upwards. However, I found out I made a mistake in my last video, so let's fix that first. When trying to prepare for this video, I tried to start with a sketch right here, and I noticed it just wouldn't let me. Well, the reason is, is because this actually isn't a flat circle. So how do we fix that? So what we can do is we can actually right click and edit sketch one, and it'll take us to where that line originated from. Now you could also find it in the timeline, but this actually isn't a straight line. It's got a slight angle to it, or at least an angle that is not perpendicular to our axis right here. So we have to make it perpendicular. Now what drives me bonkers is it really doesn't even look like anything moved. But now it's considered perfectly flat, so now I can put a sketch on there. <sighs> Any case, I'll start a new sketch on the top of our grip, hit view normal 2, and we're going to project this circle right here. We can actually make the rest of what we need to disappear or make it inactive for the rest of this video. To make those inactive, remember you just hit the little eye icon. But since we have our bottom and the grip as a sub-assembly, we can actually make them both disappear at the same time. All right, now that we got our circle we're using for our project, we're gonna extrude the entire circle just follow me here. I found out when I was practicing getting ready for this video that there are some commands that are harder to do if um, you have a hollowed out body. So we're gonna keep this solid for now. So that's gonna be a depth of 1.55. Hit the green check mark. And we're actually gonna extrude this again, but we're gonna do a depth of 15 16 of an inch. And we're gonna give it a draft of four degrees inward or a taper of four degrees inward and that gets us really close to our body next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of sketches on the top side right click hit view normal 2 we're going to add a couple of circles so this first circle is 0 0.375 in diameter hit the green check mark and we're going to extrude this up to a depth of I need my drawing file 0.15 okay we're gonna do another sketch on the top of that circle right click hit view normal 2 make sure we're on the center of that vertex or that origin point and we're going to give that a dimension of 0.25 hit the green check mark and we're going to extrude this up a distance of 0.105 Looking good so far. Just to make sure we're going to finish this top piece first, let's do a fillet on the edge of our topmost circle, and that's going to be a 0 0.02 radius. And then we're going to add some a helix in there just so we can model or at least look like have the appearance that some threads are on there. Like I said, modeling threads are really difficult on shape right now, so I'm, I'm not going to expect my students to do this or at least that part. Now we're gonna shell. We're gonna shell out our the body of our barrel. And the thickness is 0 0.035. Looking good so far. All right, you can throw in some threads in here if you really, really want to. However, like I said, I'm not gonna model them, but we are gonna put in our slots for our thumbs, the thumb release for our pens to go into. All right. I'm gonna find a work plane that allows me to draw a sketch that cuts through the body of my pen. And we're gonna start a new sketch on that, on that plane. For me, and the way I model it, it's gonna be the top plane. Now let's put in a square. So I'm going to do a two-point rectangle, give it a dimension between the top of the rectangle and the top of our body 
0.08. It's going to have a height of 0.75. Uh oh. Let me, I gotta fix my keyboard. Give me two seconds. There we go. 0 0.75. And then the width here is gonna be uh, 0 0.25. There we go. Notice it's not center though. Let's make it center. I'm gonna draw a line down the middle. If you notice, there's a dotted line that auto populates in. And that's what we want. We want a line to come in. We're going to right click and use it as construction line because we're going to use it to construct our drawing. We're going to do the dimension between the center and this outside edge to be 0 0.125. Since the overall width is 0 0.25, half of that's 0.125. Notice now my sketch is fully constrained. This is a good practice to have that your sketches are fully constrained. We're going to give two radiuses on the bottom here, a radius of 0 0.075. And then we're going to draw a three-point arc across the top. I'm going to do a tangent constraint between the top of this arc to the top of our square, or our rectangle. And then let's put in some dimensions. Let's dimension the right part of our arc to be 0 0.05. And same thing for the left side, 0 0.05. Notice it's now fully constrained. Hit the green check mark, and we're going to extrude. But see, I can't really have a hard time clicking on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click extrude. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on sketch 6 over here, the one we just made. And that allows me to select that sketch without having to go through the body. We're going to do remove. Looks great. Hit the green check mark. Boom, Bob's your uncle. All right, how do we get that slight, nice little taper in there, though? Because when once we do this here in a second, we need this nice little tapered edge right here. Oh, and I actually just found out I put those threads in the wrong part. So that's where that helix at. So we're actually going to right click and delete this helix and put the helix on the right part. Come on. There we go. All right. How do we do that? And here's, I just love project geometry just because it makes your life easy if you've already done it. Okay. So we started a sketch plane on this top lip right here and we're going to project that arc. But we got top, we got bottom, and we got the sides. Hit the green check mark, and we're looking good. I'm going to rotate around so you see the sketch we just finished. Start a sketch on this other side. Right click, hit view normal 2. And we're going to project just this top arc. So that we have a profile to loft to here in a second, what I'm going to do... is just draw in some geometry that allows me to complete this profile. Doesn't really matter because it's going to, we're gonna use it as a remove tool. Uh, so it doesn't really matter what the top arc looks like. As long as you have a profile to go to another profile. Hit the green check mark. So now when I hit loft, right, loft, those two profiles together, but instead of an add, it's a remove. And boom, Bob's your uncle. I don't know if your uncle is Bob, but in any case, we have most of our pen assembly made. But we don't want to do that four times. So we're going to do a circular pattern. In the circular pattern, there is a feature pattern. And we're going to do the two features we just did. We did extrude 6, and we did loft 1. So now it knows what we want to repeat, but it needs to know the direction of the axis that we're going on. And this is why I love to reference old geometry, 
because we do have an axis that goes through, well, clicked on the wrong one, an axis that goes through the center of our pen. Ah, yes. And there you go, folks. We've modeled the top part of our bin, pen assembly. Man, I'll get it out there eventually. And we can go ahead and bring in our other parts just to show that everything is nice, good, happy, hunky-dory. I guess we should name the top part, so we'll call it uh, barrel top. Silly goose. Spelled barrel wrong. Is it going to let me? It just knows that I'm wrong, so it just, it just wants to fight me. <laughs> We'll get there eventually, folks. All right, let's put a second L in there. Rename. Man, I made a lot of mistakes in the first video, didn't I? And there we go. Boom. We got the top part of our barrel finished. We're going to soon, at some point, make it another sub-assembly. That way, it's just easier. You could, actually, if we want to. And let's do that. Let's... uh. Let's edit this subassembly. Let's do composite part. I'm going to scroll and pull it all the way down to the bottom and have that composite part to also include the top part we've done there. That way we can just name this pen body. Boom. Done. All right. I'll see you guys on the next video. You guys are awesome. Stay awesome. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. If not, please let me know what I can do differently. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.